Hello. Welcome to Southern Tier Gardening. My name's Eric and today I wanted to do just a quick video and I wanted to talk to you guys about something. It's a it's a disease that affects my tomatoes. Now it's a it's it's a major problem in my area um, and it's called blossom end rot. Now I don't know if people all over the country deal with this but it's definitely a major problem for me so to begin with what what blossom end rot is is if we come over here to my one of my parks whopper improved indeterminate tomato plants what will happen is you'll be going along in your garden and you'll see a tomato that looks like it's ready to pick on top it'll absolutely look perfect I'll use this one that I've already picked for an example because I don't wanna I don't wanna twist these fruits around to show you guys but basically you'll come up to pick the tomato and you'll flip it over and the entire blossom side of the fruit if you think about it this is the part of the tomato that is on the stem and on this end is where the flower was or the blossom but the entire bottom of your tomato will be dark brown or even black and it'll be rotted and there's nothing more discouraging than coming up to a tomato that just looks perfect and you flip it over and it's just rotted that is called blossom end rot and there's a lot of different opinions out there as far as what causes blossom end rot and how to treat it but I'm just going to talk specifically about from my research what I think causes it and the two things that I do to try to prevent this from happening um, last year um, it especially hit my heirloom tomatoes I was growing some Cherokee purple tomatoes last year I was growing some German Johnson and I lost probably a good two dozen tomatoes to this blossom end rot now they say you can kind of cut like like the rotted part is on the bottom here they say you can kind of cut the top off the tomato and maybe still salvage it to cut some up but I don't think that's really even worth it basically it ruins your tomato so in my opinion what causes blossom end rot is a calcium deficiency calcium is a micronutrient that plants need and how your plants specifically your tomatoes use calcium is it helps to build strong cell structure um, especially on the fruits so as these tomatoes are are developing and ripening they need calcium to build strong cell walls so what happens is if your plants aren't getting enough calcium your tomatoes aren't getting enough calcium especially when they're ripening that causes blossom end rot the end of the tomato just can't form um, good cell walls and the, the fruit ends up rotting on the vine so what I do to prevent this is you can add calcium to your soil in the form of a fertilizer there's lots of products out there there's both there's synthetic there's organic products um, but you want to make sure that your balanced fertilizer or that you're you're adding a lot of calcium to your soil but the other thing that makes this kind of tricky is it's also tied to watering because the calcium gets is delivered to the plant through water so you could have enough calcium in your soil but if you aren't watering correctly the plant might not be getting the calcium when it needs it so the two things that I do to prevent blossom end rot and I hope it does I'm not speaking as an expert but I knew it, it hit me last year and so far this year I haven't seen any evidence of it 
Um, you will see it on your tomatoes mainly, but it can also happen to your peppers. Um, so the first thing I do is I add um, fertilizers and amendments to my soil before I plant my tomatoes, and I also side dress with these products. So there's plenty of calcium in my soil as the plants grow. The other thing that I do is I think your tomato plants benefit from even watering. And this is harder to do, but in my opinion, it's a little better to water your plants more frequently. Um, keeping the soil sort of evenly moist, not wet or flooded, but evenly moist. Um, what I found what you don't want to do is not water for four or five days and let your ground just get dry. Then come in and just water for an hour and flood. It's that inconsistent watering, in my opinion, that can lead to blossom end rot. So the, the two key points that I try to make, and this works for me, I'm not saying this works for everyone in the country, or, but for me, even watering and making sure that I have plenty of calcium in the soil, I, I amend right in the very beginning when I plant my tomato transplant, I add a calcium fertilizer right into the, the garden hole. So it, it all starts right at the very beginning. Make sure your plants have lots of calcium. Try even watering. And hopefully this will work to prevent blossom end rot in your garden. Because um, once again, there's nothing more discouraging. If you're coming up on a tomato that looks like this, you pick it off the vine and you turn it over and it's rotted. Um, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. So I'm going to wrap this video up for today. I just wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about blossom end rot. Um, as always, I can't thank you guys enough for joining me here today and I can't wait to see you next time and grateful gardening here at Southern Tier Gardening.